Hi everyone welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. I don't know what to do or how I should feel. I, 19F, have been with my partner, 21 meters, for 4 years. All my life I have known abuse of all forms equals love, from my parents' relationship and previous partners. I'm really just looking for a place to vent because I really have nobody and another pair of eyes to analyze the situation. Please let me know if I need to post this in another forum. All of my family is in an entirely different state, and if I were to tell them it would be really bad, and I just recently finished schooling to become licensed for this state and don't want to even begin thinking about becoming relicensed and having to leave everything I've built for myself and restart again. I apologize for the rambling, but I feel as though this is important before I continue. I don't know if I am capable of leaving and I am terrified. When we first had gotten together, it was perfect, and he was like a breath of fresh air for me. I finally had found the stability and love I had craved from another human being my entire life. I had just recently turned 16, I was ever so naive and blind. My life soon fell apart, thanks to my parents' poor choices and I was placed within my boyfriend's household. I thought things could only go uphill for me, I now lived with the love of my life, and I was so thrilled to be able to be next to one another day in and day out, mind you, he was the one that insisted I move in with him. It was either that or foster care and I would have eventually been able to go home and be placed with my family. I was so full of love and happiness, and then one day a switch just went off in his brain. He became cold and cruel, and something inside of me told me to go through his phone. I had never been the jealous or overprotective type, female friends never bothered me, and my boyfriend could do as he pleases because I thought that the love and respect was mutual. I found so much. That was my life consistently for the next three years. I would find him sexting women, looking up their onlyvans, nudes, etc. All while I was laying slash sitting next to him he was doing these things to me and treating me like a dog. He would cry, apologize, tell me he doesn't understand why he does these things to me and of course, I am so dumb and naive I believed it. I didn't want to believe the man that I had chosen over my family would do this to me, I was ready to build a life around him, US. This continued, the emotional and physical abuse continued all whilst he would berate me and accuse me of cheating. I feel like this is important to add, but I am fiercely loyal and considerate of other feelings and once he graduated school, I am an idiot. To make him feel more secure that no man was speaking to me, I pulled out of a physical school and completed the rest of my education online. I couldn't imagine him feeling the way I did so I would go above and beyond to make sure he felt secure whilst I was literally rotting from the inside out. I closed myself off from everyone, my only contacts being him, his family, my family that I would speak to over the phone and occasionally visit for holidays. I was able to finish my schooling a year early and apply to college, I was accepted and began my program. At this point in our relationship, I was finally beginning to heal and overcome the cheating, the emotional and physical abuse I had been put through. Two weeks into my schooling, I woke up to get ready and something just told me again, go through his phone. I did. I had found a secret Snapchat that he created, I already caught him using it a while ago, but he insisted that he doesn't use it anymore. I found my friends, girls I was worried about, random girls slash he was sexting and talking to them all more than on a friendly level. All while I was beside him. I was heartbroken. Once again, the crying, apologizing began. I had just begun college. I couldn't leave. I paid for everything, how could I just up and leave now? I caved and stayed, just as I always have. Our relationship had gotten better as the months went on, or so I thought up until a month ago, almost a year apart from when I had last caught him. Another secret Snapchat. I absolutely lost it, this time I was able to go through it more in depth and I really wish I hadn't after I had seen what I saw. I'm literally shattered. After four years of this, I am finally beginning to realize he does not love me, value me, or treat me the way he should but I have become so comfortable with the abuse. He has absolutely ruined me from the inside and out. I have no self-esteem. I suspect there's been incidents that were physical but have only been able to confirm one but of course, it wasn't his fault and she had forced himself on her. He didn't tell me. I had to find out by going through his phone. If you read through this, I really appreciate it. I'm young and I know I made a stupid decision. I thought I was in love, I still am but I am so scared. I most definitely left out a lot of other details, but I just needed to hurry up and post something. I just want to feel heard, I feel so alone. Here are some of the best comments from our community. Listen, do not blame yourself. You also know what you should do. 
I'm sorry that you've been surrounded by such pa so far in your life. But at least, you can see and realize how badly your boyfriend treats you. I don't know your situation, but if I were you, I'd be looking to figure out a way to get away from him. You deserve so much better, whether it be from your boyfriend or parents. I wish you best of luck with everything, heart. You were placed in his family's home instead of foster care. Who allowed a 15 and a 17 years old to start a relationship as partners under their roof when they should have been protecting you and providing some sort of safe space for you? What kind of monsters do this? I am not going to say you are too young or that you are not mature enough to know what is in your best interest. You have bigger problems to worry about than whether he is in or not in love with you. He is talking to other women and doesn't care if you are there or not. Give yourself the love and attention that no one else ever gave you. You have to be selfish and do and think about yourself and your future. This guy is done with you and you should move on to better people and a brighter future. You are 19 years old correct and stated being with your partner since you were 15. You said having experienced abuse from previous relationships, I don't know how young you were and how many but I am so sorry you've gone through so much. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.